Hi, and welcome to this section of the Advanced Calculus 2 Tutor. And in this section, we're going to continue our uh, foundation of sequences and series. And in this section, we're going to talk about the topic of introduction to series. What is a series, okay? The good news is it picks up right where the topic of sequences ended. It's very much related to the sequence concept that we did right in the last section. Obviously, it's new material, so there's some new things to learn, but I think once you have that foundation, uh, you're going to do just fine here, okay? So the, the short story here is, and one thing I'm going to apologize to you a little bit ahead of time is, as I teach this section here, unfortunately, I can't dive into the examples really soon. Because if I do that, you're going to get confused and you're going to have to apply the theorems without me teaching you the theorems and that's not going to be very productive. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to have to have some front-loaded work a little bit to give you some theorems that you're going to see in your textbook on the first few pages of the chapter dealing with the sequences, I'm sorry, with the series, okay? And I'm going to show those to you and hopefully try to explain them to you in a different way that makes it easier to understand, easier to remember. And then we're going to dive into the problems and apply them, okay? So we're going to have to get some, some groundwork done first is all I'm really trying to say. So what is a series, okay? Remember back to the sequence we did just a minute ago. The sequence was just a list of numbers. One, two, three, four, whatever. One half, one fourth, one eighth, doesn't matter. Numbers separated by a comma, that's what the sequence was, okay? The series is when you begin to add those numbers up, okay? That is really it. I mean, that's all you're doing. You're adding those things up. So, whereas before, you may have one half, one fourth, one eighth, one sixteenth, whatever, a sequence. Uh, here, in the series, you're going to be adding up those elements. And you're going to be arriving at some sum, okay? And that sum is going to be something we're going to be very interested in. Because remember, uh, just think conceptually. I'm going to give you a big 100,000 foot overview of this section. Remember in the sequences section, the one we just did just a minute ago, okay, uh, we were looking at the behavior of the elements of the sequence as we looked at, at terms that go off close to infinity. As we go bigger and bigger and bigger, do they go up? Do they blow up and get really large and just go to infinity? Some of them do. Do they approach zero? Do they converge to a number? Do they approach zero? Okay? And so we're taking limits here. Okay? Now just think about it for a second. If you're going to add up the elements of those sequences, and let's just say the original sequence you had, the original sequence blew up to infinity. All the numbers, the actual elements of the sequence got bigger and bigger and bigger. So if you add them up, if you approach infinity and you begin to add up an infinite number of, of these things that are getting bigger, well obviously your sum is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. It's going to diverge. It's going to going to go bigger and bigger as well. But, and just stretch your brain here with me for a second. If you have the elements of the sequence that happen to approach zero fast enough, okay, if you have elements that go one half, one fourth, uh, one uh, eighth, one sixteenth, one thirty second, one sixty fourth, one one twenty eighth, whatever, they get smaller and smaller and smaller as you approach infinity, then it might be possible for you to actually add up an infinite number of things but because the elements are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, I might actually have a series, which is the summation, converge. That's what we're going to be interested in in this section. That's the motivation. We're going to be interested in looking at these series, which are not the elements. It's the sum of the elements. And we're going to be trying to find out if those sums can converge or not. That's exactly what we're going to be doing in this section and the next several sections. Okay, so. Put your uh, thinking cap on. We're going to go to some different territory here. It's not going to be too hard, but we're going to have to go through some theorems first. So that's our motivation. Let's recap a little bit. Uh, if we have the elements A1, A2, A3, these are elements. A4, dot, 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 An, these are just elements in the sequence. Okay. 